Understanding the phrase, testing the read, in English. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, testing the read. This phrase isn't as common as some others, but it's a great example of how English uses imagery to convey ideas. By the end of this video, you'll understand what this phrase means and how to use it in conversation. Let's start by looking at the origin of the phrase. The term, reed, refers to a type of tall, thin grass that grows in wet areas. Historically, reeds were used for various purposes, including making musical instruments, pens, and even as a building material. The strength and flexibility of a reed were crucial for these uses. Thus, testing the reed, meant to check its quality and suitability for a specific purpose. Now, let's dive into the metaphorical meaning. When people use this phrase in conversation, they aren't usually talking about actual reads. Instead, they're referring to the idea of testing or assessing someone or something's strength, resilience, or suitability for a particular task or situation. It's similar to other phrases like, testing the waters, or, feeling out the situation. To really understand this phrase, let's see some examples in context. 1. In a work setting, imagine a manager saying, we're testing the read by giving the new employee a small project first. Here, it means they're assessing the new employee's skills and capabilities. Two. In personal life, a friend might say, I'm just testing the read by starting with a short-term rental before buying a house. This means they're gauging their readiness or the suitability of the decision. When using, testing the read, remember these tips. It's best used in situations where there's an element of assessment or trial. The phrase carries a neutral tone, it's neither overly positive nor negative. It can be a subtle way to express caution or prudence in decision-making. And that's a wrap on, testing the read. This phrase is a great example of how English can use simple imagery to express complex ideas. We hope this video helps you in understanding and using this phrase effectively in your conversations. If you found this helpful, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more English learning content. See you in the next video.